This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by... your YOLO vacation. Hey, I'm Callie, your land and cruise expert. I specialize in fun across Europe, the Caribbean, and even Hawaii. Whether you are traveling by land or by sea, the person to book it, of course, would be me. We're coming to you today from Footlight Theater in Michigan City, Indiana, and we are here with two very gorgeous and talented women. <laughs> we have Debbie Bartholomew, who is the assistant director for the show that we're going to be talking about, and Laura Myers, who is playing one of the, uh, one of the parts character. in the in the show. And the show we're here to talk about is Double Wide Texas, mm -hmm. and you are playing, Laura, Caprice, Caprice Crumpler. Caprice Crumpler, yes. I'm an elderly woman who always thought she should be a star, and she has an opportunity in this play to become a legend. Oh, yes. A legend? Yeah. Yes. I don't think she'll quite make it, but we'll see. But we'll have to see. We don't want any spoilers. <laughs> well, right. she's always also one a, a vibrant personality. I think that's a good way to put it. Yes. Well, I think pretty much everybody in Double Wide Texas is oh, a vibrant yeah, personality. Pretty much. <laughs> in their own way, yes. So, <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about what Double Wide Texas is all about. Double Wide Texas is about a small community in Texas, it, and it's obviously make-believe, but they have four trailers and one house in this area, and it's a group of people that are all just a little bit different than you'd quite expect to see. They look at the world through rose-colored glasses, I'd okay. say, most of the time. Um, they're funny, they're, they're down to earth in many ways, but there's always this level of you never know what's going to come out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And so it's fun to watch, and I laugh every night at certain things especially. I just, I love the characters, I love the camaraderie. It's, it's just a, a play that makes your heart sing afterwards. And for those of you who are wondering, we are on the set. We're not normally sitting in a big giant pink room. No, no. But this just happens to be the set for Double Wide Texas. So this was written by Jones, Hope, and Wooten, who have written so many hilarious plays that I have had the chance to see and you recently did a Christmas one of this, well, right? Well, we did Double Wide Texas Christmas, which is uh, the actually, sequel to this. The sequel to mm -hmm. this one. Okay. So it would have been nice so if we would have prequel. done it the other way around. Oh, this okay. is a prequel. Yeah. But uh, the characters are pretty much the same. There's just a little bit a couple mm -hmm. couple new characters in this one that aren't in the other one. And this is the first show for the new season? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So tell us what people can expect when they come and why they should come and see this show. Well, if you'd like an, a nice relaxing evening of fun, just pure fun, then come mm -hmm. and see the show. Because, because who doesn't need that? Right. It, there's, it's, there's no message necessarily. There's no. no there's, <laughs> there's no underlying this or that. It's just fun and funny and a little bit slapstick. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, with all the yuckiness in the world going on, if mm -hmm. you just want to lose yourself in something right. fun, something that'll take your mind off of everything else and just relax, enjoy, get a good laugh, have fun, this is the show to come Definitely. see. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. And it opens this Friday. Correct. Right? And that would be the 6th of September. And it goes the 6th, 7th, and 8th, and then the 12th and 13th, and 14th, and 15th. And Sundays are matinees. Yes. Correct. So yeah, we have a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Correct. Oh, that's awesome, because a lot of people have busy weekends, but a mm -hmm. Thursday is a good night to come out. And tickets are, how much? $15. $15. $15. But if they go on our website, um, they can, it's footlightplayers.org, I believe. Yes, it but is. But if they go on our website, 
they can get a coupon and you can have two for the price of. <gasps> well, no, it's two for 20. Two for 20, I think it is, or is it 25? I don't remember for sure, but it is less. Is okay, you're it saving is a break. $5. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. basically. You get a break. break. If you right. want you to get a right break, you 25. Yeah, and you bring, but you have to print that coupon off and bring it in. It isn't something you can stick on your phone. We're not quite that technologically savvy. Well, that's okay. Yeah. And we're going to put all that information up there, how to get a hold of the tickets and, okay. and the phone good. number to call and everything to make. So tell us a little bit about the cast. Who all's in this show? This cast has um, a number of people that were in the last show. There's Diana Hirsch, who plays Big Ethel. Uh -huh. I have to get this right now. Here, D. Piotrowski. Okay, yep. thank you. Yeah, just a double check. Remember, D. Piotrowski, who plays Georgia Dean. Um, Di Younts, who plays Larkin Barkin. Norwayne Baby Crumpler is Andrew Vendel. Haywood Sloggett is David Malakovic, and he Malak, that's not right. Mikolajczyk, there we go. There you go. I have to think about it twice. Um, Emma was in the last show as Jovita Crumpler, and she is in this one, and of course, Laura. And there are two new people. Oh, good. Lomax Tanner is played by Jay Swindell, and Starla Pudney, she's the wife of the, of the mayor of Tugaloo oh. is played by Danielle Bilderback, and she is such a pleasure. Both of them are such a pleasure to add to the stage. Isn't it fun when you get new people in? Yes. Oh yes, yes. And they just have such energy, and it's it's just a delightful cast. And of course, the the wonderful body, Commandera. Uh, yep, is, is the, the director, the director of mm -hmm. this, yes, and also yes. one of the owners and founders of Footlight. <laughs> well, he really didn't found it. That really? goes. Oh no, that oh, goes back to 1950-51, and my mother was on the original board. Oh my goodness! He he joined us in about early 80s. I yes. believe early to mid-80s. Okay. About mid-80s, mm -hmm. I think it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. But he he didn't found the thing. It was it was done by a group of, well, another see, group of people. Live and learn people. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now that I'm assuming that was before you guys took over the subway. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. That was back when they were they were still at, um, out in Cool Spring Township. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So anything else you want to leave our well I would like to let them know that Joy Davidson, after the set was bit by, built by Lloyd, Floyd, Floyd Klosky, there we go, I have to get all these names right, Joy Davidson did all the painting and all the decorating and she just, I think she put a lot of effort into the stage to make it look the way it's supposed to. Uh, it's amazing. It's wild. Yes, yes it's it fun. It is a lot of fun and I love the picture of Elvis and on the side, which you can't really see, but there's a picture of Reba as yeah, well. Right. Yeah. So it's it's a good set. And the she costuming got is oh, fabulous. Oh yes, that was Sharon Keenan's got all the costuming together with Laura's assistance, of course. And then of course we'll have um, amazing tech people working lights yes. and sound and all of those right. things too. We can't forget them because no. they're very important. Mm -hmm. And what other shows are coming up this season? Do you know? Well, next, next one is Last of the Red Hot Lovers. Ooh. That's a Neil Simon comedy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's an oldie but goodie because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very funny too. Oh, yeah. And then we have Gypsy. Gypsy, right. And then um, Steel Magnolias. And then Narnia. And then Narnia. Oh my gosh. And that's the musical version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. How fun is and that? And so be? I'm I'm very excited because I'm going to be directing that one. Oh, and I'm nice. I'm already reading and contemplating. <laughs> you have I love to. The, I love the story. Yeah. I love I just it. But that won't be till assistant directing something and I know how yeah. tough it is. That won't be yeah. till next July. So we have some time. Oh yeah. That'll be our time, last but show. You'll have to start now planning oh, yes. all that. Oh yes. How much fun is that gonna be? Oh, it'll be great. Well, I'm super excited for Nibble Wide, Texas, because I <laughs> yep. know how rip roaring and funny Jones Hope and Well, Moon one are of the about. fun things of being the assistant director is when someone's not here, I get to read the roles. I know. So yeah, I've read every best. role in the cast, <laughs> even the men. <laughs> and it, mo so it moves so quickly. Yes. It's, it's not a real long show anyway. I mean, it's, it's less than two hours. Yes. A little less than two hours. And it moves so quickly, it seems, I mean, even being in it, it's like, I put my first, I put my first costume on, and all of a sudden I'm putting the sixth one on. Yeah, you know, so it's just boom, 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 the oh, whole thing. Fun. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm fun. super excited. Anything else you'd like to leave our audience with? Well, please come. Yes. Well, Obviously. come and come and laugh. Yes. yes. Come and and if you're a, a desire to be a part of theater, this is a community theater where we open our doors to people coming in and helping with costuming, 
being on stage, working backstage. Building sets, um, painting. Yes, and, and, and we have people that will train you to do lights or sound. So if you want to be a part of a group of people that just enjoy giving back to the community with the arts, come join us. Absolutely. Yes. Footlight Theater is an amazing place. The Footlight Players are wonderful. I've had the opportunity and the honor and joy of doing a few shows here as well. And what a great group of people. Yes. It really is. We're a friendly bunch. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely friendly. And Joy makes really yummy cookies too. So yes. you get to be in a oh, yes. show where Joy's involved, she'll make you some yummy cookies. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, we thank you so much for letting us come out here and talk about the show. And well, thank you for thank having you. us. Absolutely. This is marvelous. It's our pleasure. We love you guys. Okay. So thanks everybody. We hope to see you out here in Michigan City at Footlight Theater. vacation. Hey, I'm Callie, your land and cruise expert. I specialize in fun across Europe, the Caribbean, and even Hawaii. Whether you are traveling by land or by sea, the person to book it, of course, would be me.